Welcome to the Voice of Perfection. Today we will be listening to a clip from the audio teaching we're going to say. We believe we will be great with us. That is teaching. Today I'll be teaching on Born to Serve. We're going through scriptures today as we find out what is the heart of the Father and His will concerning kingdom service. Amen. Now today as we begin this teaching I want to uh, let you know that a certain things that by reason of listening to this message is going to happen to you. Number one, that is going to build enough a hunger for the things of God in such dimension as you've not ex expected and such as you've never experienced before. Now, what the scripture must understand the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut for cut short rather. So I want you to expect a hunger for the things of God. Number two, you're gonna be receiving an impactation. Now uh, there is different levels of the world. Today you're not gonna be receiving information. Today you're not gonna be receiving just uh knowledge or revelation, but we are gonna get into the realm of impartation because the scripture makes me understand and the word he spoke to me and uh, Word enter into me and set me upon my feet. That is Ezekiel speaking, and I want to say it's gonna be happening to you. And I have good news for any of you that might be sick in your body, because even as Christ was speaking, the power of God was present to heal them, and the same power is here. For as the word comes for there is gonna be healing in the body, it's gonna be healing in the spirit, it's gonna be healing in the soul, deliverances in every phase of your life. Oh, someone has given praise because there is going to be a great encounter today. Amen. Now, as I said, we're going to be talking about Kingdom Service, message titled Born to Serve. Just before we go about the topic for today, in order to ensure we are both at the same level of mutual faith and understanding, I would love to start this uh, teaching by explaining what the kingdom of God is about, what the kingdom of our Father is, what is the uniqueness about this kingdom, and then we'll go into what kingdom service is. That is, remember, the teaching is born to serve. But we need to understand, what is it about the kingdom of God? What is it about the kingdom of our Father? Now, if you will, turn with me to the book of John, chapter 14, as we begin. This teaching, John chapter 14, I'll be reading from verse 1 to 4. I believe a passage you're familiar with. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, Ye, ye may be also, and whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Now, why are we discussing our Father's kingdom? Now, what I'm going to be sharing with you right now is an exact um, a path of a teaching uh, titled My Father's Kingdom, but I believe we need to lay the foundation so that we can understand what kingdom service is all about. Now, what are we talking about the kingdom of God? Now, I wanted this teaching basically is to give you a consciousness of your citizenship of the kingdom of God. So you may understand the privileges of your citizenship. For it says that we are of, we in this world rather, but we are not of the world. That I've seen people who operate at the level of the wisdom of this world. Now, the truth of the matter is this, that if you are going to produce results that are worthy of the kingdom of God, then you must operate at the realm of the kingdom of God. You must understand that you are different from the people of this world. And as such, you must not experience what they experience. You must not live at the same level they live. And uh, by God's grace, you will understand that uh, being a member of the kingdom of God is not about striving or trying to live a righteous life. But rather, it's about living a life of blessedness. It's about living in the realm of endless empowerment. So now, John chapter 14. Most people take this scripture, which I just read, to talk about the kingdom of heaven. But the truth of the matter is that within this passage, which you just read, is a hidden, most important, wonderful truth 
about the kingdom of God. Dearly beloved, heaven is not still under construction. So what did Christ mean when he said, I go to prepare a place for you and I will come again to receive you? Now, he was referring to the kingdom of God. Now, when I say heaven or the kingdom of heaven, just for clarity, I'm referring to paradise that is above right now. But then the kingdom of our father or the kingdom of God is referring to what I'm about to explain to you right now. We're going to be talking about the kingdom of God. Now, the Lord was saying that I am going to the Father via the way of the cross and resurrection and I'll be granting you access to be with the Father. Because verse 6 must understand that when he said he was going to, was unto the Father. Because verse 5 says, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. How can we know the way? Then Jesus answered and said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So in other words, he said, I am going to the Father and um, you saying, I'm going to the Father and I will return again unto you and receive you unto myself. I will return again in the person of the Holy Ghost. How do I know this? John chapter 14, 18 to 19. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me because I live, ye shall live also. Why? Verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another like me, another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. So then, he says, I'm going to the Father, I will return in a person of the Holy Ghost, so that you can be with me. The Lord was not talking about the end of the world in John chapter 14. Rather, he was talking and referring to a then he was referring to a soon coming and at this dispensation now present reality. He was referring to the kingdom of God and not heaven. So what then is this kingdom of God? Number one, I need you to understand the kingdom of God is not a way of life or a way of doing things. The kingdom of God is a real existing kingdom like any other known kingdom here upon earth. John chapter 18, 33 to 36, when he was being interviewed by Pilate, he said unto him, My kingdom is not of this world. If it were of this world, my servants would have fought for me that I should be not crucified. So if it were just an ideology, if it were just an idea, he wouldn't have made that statement. The kingdom of God is real. It is an existing kingdom. And this kingdom, dearly beloved, is here upon earth. This kingdom of God is here upon earth. Mark chapter 9 and verse 1. The kingdom of God is here upon earth. Mark chapter 9 and verse 1. When he was talking about the events that are yet to come to his disciples, he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here, which shall not taste of death, till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power definitely we know that the disciples whom he spoke to have gone to the kingdom of heaven so now what is the kingdom of God that is to come with power it is that kingdom that came to the earth and that kingdom is presently upon the earth Jesus Christ speaking to the Pharisees he said unto them the kingdom of God cometh not with observation that is done, Luke rather, 17, 20, for 21, he says, Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is among you. The kingdom of God is here upon earth. And that is why in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 24, um, the scriptures can clearly say about Christ. He said, Then come at the end, at the end of the world. He says, When the Lord Jesus Christ shall have delivered up the kingdom to God. He shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father. Which kingdom? The kingdom here upon earth. When he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign 
and the body of Christ will reign with him till he have put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. So now, the kingdom of God, that beloved, is here upon earth. So you belong to a real existing kingdom as a child of God that is here upon earth. Howbeit, this kingdom is a spiritual kingdom. Jesus Christ speaking in John 18, 36, My kingdom is not of this world. And John chapter 3, 1 to 7, When Nicodemus came unto him at night, Jesus Christ made his profound statement, and I'm reading verse 3, He said, Verily I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verse 5, I say unto you, Verily, verily, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Why? Because this kingdom is is spiritual now because the kingdom of god is spiritual does not mean it does not have any physical implication as a matter of truth whatsoever that is spiritual without physical implication is fake because all things that are made and that are seen were made of things that were not seen and that cannot be seen and because it is a spiritual kingdom it is a more permanent and a more real kingdom than the kingdoms that are upon earth because second Corinthians chapter 14 please turn with me second Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 18 say why we look not at the things which are seen but the things which are not seen why for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal the things which are not seen are eternal are more real Hebrews chapter 12 and of verse 28, lend credence to this saying, wherefore we, rec wherefore we receive in a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. Now, this kingdom cannot be moved. So now we have established that the kingdom of God is a real kingdom, is not a way of life. We have established that the kingdom of God is here upon earth and it is a spiritual, albeit more permanent and real kingdom. Now as we go on, I need to understand that this kingdom has its own constitution. This kingdom has its own constitution. John chapter 14. Now what am I going through this? I want you to understand. I need to renew your mind. To change your mindset. As Christ said, you don't put old wine. You don't put new wine rather into old wine skin. Lest the um, wine skin be destroyed and you lose both the wine skin, the wine bottle that is and the wine. So when you understand that we do not belong to this world, we belong to another kingdom with a different mode of operation and a different way of doing things. Now, we are reading John chapter 14, Jesus Christ speaking, 21, he says, he that hath my commandment, that is the constitution, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. And then Judah said, Our Lord, how is it that thou will manifest a servant was and not unto the world? And so he answers, Why is it that I will not show myself to the world? Why is it that the world cannot see me? Because I'm going to manifest myself to certain people for it says 23 now if a man love me and we keep my words my constitution my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our bow with him now from verse 14 we have seen that the kingdom of god is the father is with the father is about the father for where the father is and of course we know the spirit of the father is the holy ghost then the kingdom of god is there and he's saying that um, if you keep my commandment, then the Father will make our abode with him. If you keep our constitutions, then you'll be a member of this um, kingdom. So to say, I'll be explaining more about the constitution with time. But now let's go to John chapter 13, and verse 34 to 35. This kingdom has its own identification. Just we have cultures. Also, the kingdom of God has its own cultures. I'm not talking about doctrines. I'm not talking about us, um, religious um, beliefs and all. I'm talking about uh, identification. And what is identification? 
we see that in John chapter 13, 34, 35, 13, 34, 35, see the new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. By love shall they know that ye belong to this new kingdom if you have one each other love for one another. And in this kingdom, you have your rights. First Corinthians chapter 2, speaking about the kingdom of God, he said, I'm reading verse 4, he says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God, now let me go to verse um, 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in the mystery, even the wisdom hidden. Wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for having known, they would not have crucified. It is a general belief that kingdom service is all about giving or working in a ministry or service group at church. However, the truth is, this is only a small part of kingdom service. In this teaching, you would learn in details what kingdom service is all about, the foundation on which kingdom service must be built, how to receive the fullness of the blessings accrued to kingdom service, amongst other beautiful revelations. This teaching is available as a free download on the download segment of our website, iinchrist.org. You can also place your orders for the CD set or DVD of this teaching by calling Plus 234 704 617 7075 or plus 234 812 117 6531. That is plus 234 704 617 7075 plus 234 812